Hello everyone and welcome to this session where we will learn about modules in TypeScript. As a beginner, you might be wondering what exactly a module is and why they are important. Modules allow you to break your code into smaller, reusable pieces that are easier to manage and understand. Think of them as building blocks that you can assemble to create a larger, more complex application. Now in the Visual Studio code, you can see that I haven't created any file as of yet because I wanted to show you how you can create modules and start importing them from one file to another. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is make a folder in your current workspace. So this is our workspace and I will be creating a new folder with the name as modules. And now over here I will create a new file and let's name it as mads.es. And as the name suggests, we will be creating some of the functions. So you have already studied how to create functions. This is how we create functions in TypeScript. Let's say we want to create a function for the addition. We will declare the two input arguments and their data types as well. So we have two input arguments with data type as numbers. And then the output will also be a number. And what we want to return is a plus b, obviously over here, because it is an addition function. And let me also make a function for subtraction as well. So you can write subtract. And then the two input arguments. And then the output will also be a number. And what it will return is a minus b. All right. So this is a similar function that we created previously in our functions lesson as well. And you know right now that if you want to use the add function, you just simply call the add function. If you want to store that result in a variable, you just make a variable and you store it in there and then you can do a console.log to display it, right? Now we are over here to discuss what are modules. Now let's say this is one of your file and you want to keep different files separately. So let's say you have one file that needs to get a strings, one file that needs to have all of the mathematical functions and then you need to call them in your main file. So let's say we want to call all of these functions in one of our main file. So what I will do is I will create another file, let's say main.ts. So this is where you want to perform all of your main applications and call the functions from other files over here, right? Now, first thing first, now what you need to do is inside the mass.ts file, you need to declare the functions that we already did. But at the same time, we also need to tell that no, we are not going to use this function inside the same file, but instead we are going to export it out and use it in an other file, right? So what I did is I just added a keyword export and in the same way, I will also add another keyword over here with the name as export. So you can see that it tells the TypeScript that, okay, these functions are not going to be used in this file, but instead it is going to be used in another file. Now, obviously where you're going to use those files, you need to import these functions over there. So how do you do that? So for that, I will go into the main.ts file and over here, I will write down import. And then what I want to import, I want to import two functions. Those are with the name add and subtract. Now, we will use curly brackets for that and then we will write down add. So you can see over here, it gives us a suggestion that there is an add function and that is inside the maths.ts file. You can see this over here. So I will just write down add, I want to import the add function and then I will also import the subtract function as well. And now from where do we want to import it? So we will tell it that we want to import it from and then inside the double quotation, we will tell the location for that file. So that is dot .ts file over here. Now, once the function has been imported, now you can use that function to perform different tasks inside your main file. Just remember that we haven't created these functions in our main file. That is in another file that is residing in the same workspace with the name as match.ts. Now, as we have imported these functions over here, now we can call them and we can use the functions that are in this ts file in our main.ts file. Now, let's see how you can do that. So, now the steps are similar. We will create a result variable for addition and then we will say that, okay, the result for addition will be addition function perform the task for me and that will be adding these two numbers. And then if I do a quick console.log and I will print the result add. Let's open the terminal. Perform the transpilation of our main file. So now this is important over here. You don't need to individually 
transpile both of these files as you are transpiling the main.ts file and it already imports the function from the match.ts file so what it will do is it will combine both of the files for you you will notice that as soon as I hit enter over here it will transpile both of these files so let's do it so you see you only had to transpile the main.ts file and what it did was it transpiled both of the files because you're trying to import functions from match.ts file itself and then I need to run the main.js file because our console.log is being done over here in the main.js file. So you can see it gives you the answer for addition of these two numbers. Let's also quickly do the let for subtract function as well. So I will subtract 10 and 5 and then we will do a console.log. Let's run this file. And you can see over here that it gives you the answer for subtraction. And if you have noticed that our functions are not in the main.ts file, but they are inside the match.ts file. And we are importing those functions over here and then calling those functions to use it. So with this, I hope you have got an understanding of what are modules and how they can help you keep your code organized, maintainable and easy to understand. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.